Well, cheers, Bass and Buzz. I think we're on our way to, uh, to get this little uh, <laughs> modification done. I know, I shouldn't have even bothered, but this just makes me happy. Retro bassin', kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today we are on the boat, but we're in the driveway. Getting the boat ready for a little early spring action, hopefully tomorrow. This is gonna be the first trip I've taken since the Texas blizzard, which pretty much just shut down everything for, for a little while. Um, but I've got the boat out, I've gotta get it gassed up tonight, and I had a few little modifications that I wanted to do. Well, actually, I actually had one modification that I wanted to do. <sighs> and it's a completely 100% unnecessary modification. I'd had, honestly, a pretty thick stack of Bass Pro Shops gift cards. And as you can imagine these days, there ain't a whole lot that I need at Bass Pro Shops. But I happened to be uh, on a little bit of a road trip and I hit one of the Bass Pro Shops, I think was outside of Houston. Anyway, just sort of perusing the marine section, something caught my eye, or actually, four things. So I'm sitting here in the cockpit of my 2018 Tracker Heritage. It is a boat that, honestly, I love it. Uh, it is kind of a big reason for this channel. That said, there are a couple of things that I did end up modifying out to make them a little bit more old school. As far as the authenticity of this boat, there were a couple things that, uh, again, just aesthetically kind of bugged me. One was the uh, logo on the Mercury. I swapped that out with some more uh, era appropriate stickers. The second one was the electronics. I wanted to fish with old school electronics. Again, not necessarily from a super tight window. Um, you know, I consider old school anything, honestly, high school and back. But one of the other things that kind of eh, bugged me a little bit in my mission to be as old school as possible, it was these seats. I didn't notice the seats too much, to be honest, until I was at the Bass Pro Shops in Memphis, and I saw there's sort of a really cool display of a mannequin of Bill Dance, and what I think might have been one of his old boats, it's the classic 1978 Bass Tracker. And while the heritage matches it in a lot of ways, these seats really stuck out to me. So, back it up, I'm in Houston, I'm walking through the marine section, and what do I see? <laughs> this, a, a super old school looking seat. So today before I go and gas up the boat, we're going to replace these seats. And of course, with all the great feedback we got on my trailer modifications, <laughs> thanks Bass and Buds for pointing out more efficient tools. However, it's a long way to the top if you're gonna retro bass. And today we're gonna do this whole project really old school. <laughs> I can already see the comment section lighting up now. Um, but don't worry, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna crack Schlitz I'll show you some of the modifications we've done since I think the first walkthrough that I did. We'll throw in these four seats and son, we are off to the races. When's the last time you had a Schlitz by the way? One of the mods you might remember was this. The Anchormate bow mounted mushroom anchor. I actually liked this thing a lot when I first did it, but I had a 10 pound anchor and I was moving all over the place. So I've, since I found a 15 pounder, it helps a little bit. If I ever find a 20, I'm probably gonna swap it out to that. But this is a light boat, but you need honestly at least 15 and ideally probably 20 pounds of anchor to hold you in place. But overall, 
I love this thing. I love the anchor and no problems aside from the obvious problem of it not working, but I think I fixed that. Talked about the aesthetics of this boat and one of the things that I switched out pretty early on were the logos on the engine. I don't know why, but for some reason it just sort of bugged me with the new school Mercury logo coupled with a very old school looking boat. So I found this pretty cool kit online. I forget the, uh, the website, but I put a video up of where I put these on in a similarly inefficient fashion. Um, but I love this mod. I know it's silly, it's just aesthetic, but to me, I look back, I see that old school blue, blue and gray, and it just makes me happy. Oh, and I did also pick up a cooler for the boat as of late. I've got the live well filled up with some other stuff, some, some snacks and things like that. So I wanted a cooler and honestly, that's the cooler that belongs on the retro wagon. I'm thinking we'll probably start with the bow pedestal seat, swap that out first and we'll kind of get a flavor for how difficult or easy this project's gonna be. Okay, so this actually looks like a pretty simple process. I just see four screws that I'm gonna have to undo and then replace them with the new seat. While we're at it, I will show you the seats that I picked up. Got a little bit better angle here. Okay, it is a Tournament Pro low back seat. They've also got a high back seat version. I wasn't sure which one I needed and luckily the low back actually matches the four seats that I've got perfectly. And it comes in a number of different Pretty cool old timey colors. I think this thing was, he's like 50 bucks each. And it should be just a simple four screw replacement, so not too bad. The seat itself, I don't know why, I just kind of love it. The actual bass tracker that I saw in Memphis with Bill Dan sitting on the bow of it, those seats were all brown, but they didn't have those, so I thought this looked pretty darn retro. It's a nice little two-tone. It's got sort of this faux leather uh, and then this tan. I think those are gonna look sweet on here. But first I've gotta do this. <laughs> it's like the old Yankee workshop in here, isn't it? <laughs> I can already see the comment sections now. Retro, um, why don't you use a drill? I'm hoping the screws all line up. I'm guessing since these are Bass Pro brand seats that I'm replacing with Bass Pro brand seats, it should work, but you know, one never knows. <laughs> I'm not getting the drills. Don't even ask. I'm just not doing it. If I could fish all day with a five foot, six inch pistol grip rod and you know, a 40 year old lure, I can do this. Well, part one is done. Uh, so we'll take this guy, put him off to the side, and here's our new seat. So I don't think I need that. It's like the tag on a mattress, you know? Hopefully the mattress police don't come after me. So this one already comes with screws, so, um, doesn't have washers, but oh well. I guess I'll use the screws it came with. All right, moment of truth. I think all these four should line up. This is actually gonna be a pretty easy project, um, at least as far as the pedestal seats go. Yeah, buddy, that's not gonna be too bad. So should I use the washers? Um, I think I'm gonna use the washers. I'm gonna steal the washers from round one and, and put them on. That, that seems like a good idea. But I'll use the new screws. New screws, old washers. On the new retro workshop. This project is gonna be like super easy. 
I mean, honestly, if I use the drill, it wouldn't even be much of a video. You know what I'm saying? Well, we are done, son. Um, time to put the seat on and see what she looks like. <laughs> Oh, you know what, hold on. It's got this thing and it says, uh, temporary protection or remove after installation. Um, so I think I've installed this thing, right? Now we'll take this off. So that goes away, whatever that is. Not too shabby. Well, cheers, Bass and Buzz. I think we're on our way to, uh, to get this little uh, <laughs> modification done. I know, I shouldn't have even bothered, but this just makes me happy. On to the next seat. So I don't think the bucket seats are gonna be my challenge. It's those two cockpit seats that make me just a little bit nervous. They kind of open up in a weird way, and I hope that, I hope they sync up. My hand's gonna be too sore to fish tomorrow. <laughs> By the way, have you ever seen a fishing show with less fishing in it? Oh my gosh. I was going through the old timeline last night and um, I think the last fish I caught was like, I don't know, a month or two ago. It's sad, really. All right, here we go, that's off. So this is actually a pretty easy project, especially if you're doing it you know, properly. Um, take off the mattress tag, move that. Oh yeah, gotta take these screws out. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm taking the uh, original washer and putting it on the new screw. I don't know why, it seems like it's a good idea. So these existing screws, by the way, they all had Loctite on them. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me that I don't have that, but it won't be your problem. Oh, I got one. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite beer in high school. For me, it was probably Coors Arctic Ice, which they unfortunately don't make anymore because, you know, if they did, I'd be all over it. And I think I liked a little bit of Red Dog as well. But yeah, drop a comment down below, Bass and Buds. Uh, let me know what was your favorite beer in high school or, you know, college if you waited till then to, to drink. Well, we are getting it done, son. Oh, here we go. Remember Bill Dance used to have this really weird uh, pedestal seat, but it had sort of like a curve in it. And I remember he knocked his cameraman off one day with that pedestal seat, so. <laughs> I don't know what that was called. Uh, all right, two down. Ooh, you gotta admit, it looks pretty darn good next to the engine, doesn't it? Oh, man. Um, oh, I forgot to take off these. I'll have to do that now. All right, I'll show you what I'm gonna have to do with these guys. So these seats all flip forward. And it looks like there's some rivets in there, so I'm not getting rid of those. But then there's one, two, three, four screws right along there. So you actually have to screw in to the front of the seat. I'm hoping when I put the new seat on, it fits sort of in this direction here. It's kind of tough to see the shadows, but. All right, so step one is going to be to unscrew the original seats and then get the new ones in. Okay, so that is 100% a different screw, and I'm pretty sure the new seats do not come with those, so I will have to save those and reuse those. All right, that one's off. That was actually kind of hard to get off because it kind of wants to fall, and when you're down to one screw, it's kind of, you know, giving you a little bit of heck. Okay, moment of truth, Bass and Buds, here we go. Um, Mattress tags off. Oh, that should fit. Can you guys even see that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 
world's worst YouTuber. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a decision. I'm gonna take these off now. I just think the angle is gonna be too hard to take these off uh, later. So that's coming off. Off, 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 off. Okay, let's uh, try to screw this thing on, see if it works. Oh, please work. So far, so good. Um, this is going, this whole project is going a lot better than I thought it would go. <laughs> so what, what, what was the last thing I said? This project's going a lot better than I thought it would go. Um, I just got two screws in and I realized that uh, the other two holes don't line up. Um, so I'm gonna have to drill that out at some point and I'm not getting into that tonight. So this is gonna be a two screw job for right now. Um, <laughs> remind me never to ever say that again. Why would I say that? <laughs> this product's going great and cut. Here, I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna show you what I kind of deal with here. Uh, okay, so if you look in here, you can see I've got one screw in, two screws in, this hole doesn't line up, and this hole doesn't line up. So this is not an ideal setup, but it's gonna have to cut it for now. Now the moment of truth is I'm gonna close this and we'll see if it fits. <sighs> okay, I can live with that degree of um, imperfection for right now. That's money. All right, here we are at our final seat of the day. Um, I don't expect any surprises, but that's a bummer that uh, only two of the screws fit. That's kind of weird, right? Bass Pro brand, Bass Pro brand, you think that all, that all fit, but guess not. It's almost like it doesn't want to come out all the way. Hmm. Screw this. So I think I'm actually gonna take the screws from the first side and use them over here because these four kind of came out, they were a little bit banged up to start with. And after I got done with them, they were probably in even worse shape. Well, we are all wrapped up with the project. Overall, it actually looks pretty darn good. And I'll show you a view from sort of, you know, not up close and you can see it definitely has much more of an old school flavor to it. Oh. Uh, so that is pretty money. One of the things I just realized, I mean, I, I saw it, but I didn't really think about it. The seats that I currently have do not have this. And those seats would definitely kind of fly up sometimes. So it's kind of nice to have the old school strap on the seat itself so there's the rear here's the one in the back again i kind of like this this is kind of a nice little mod a little bit of a function as well huh and then of course there we go what a good looking cockpit huh <laughs> Uh, but it didn't even finish my beer and I got the project done. So that's got to be something, right? And the beer's still, you know, semi-cold. But it's a Schlitz. You're not really supposed to drink them cold anyway. <sighs> All right, Bass and Buds, thanks for hanging in. Um, watching me do some really high-level modifications, you know. I do warn, if you're a novice at this kind of stuff and you're just getting into boat maintenance, you know, please don't try what I did today. This is, this is not your 101 kind of stuff. Until next time, Bass and Buds, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.